Hi, Arnabies. <laughs> well, here we are in the former yarn room and worldwide headquarters of Crochet A. <laughs> so Sandy's had a bit of a reaction to her video. Um, she's pretty much been crying for the last three hours. Um, so we wanted to reply a little bit, I guess. Um, so as I'm sure most of you know, this has been a very difficult uh, last little while for the two of us. Uh, we've had a lot of things happening that have contributed to a lot of, uh, of Sandy having, having a lot of emotion and, and everything. So um, as some of you know, my mom was, my 86 year old mother spent over 40 days in the hospital, uh, very much at death's door. Uh, we thought we were going to lose her. Somehow she, once again, uh, cheated death. She survived breast cancer three times, and now she survived this. Uh, but she is frail and old, and it was really tough for us to uh, to see her like that. Um, you know, I don't think Sandy's already told you that uh, I'm struggling to keep my business alive. Um, you know, it's getting a little bit better. We're struggling, but, uh, you know, I COVID uh, definitely was not kind to our industry um, and I had to fold up, I had to officially fold up my company and I'm continuing on as a sole proprietor in order to continue doing what I do and of course to try to keep the roof over our heads. So we've had a lot on our plate and Sandy's had a lot on her plate. She's um, worked really hard to get her shop up and going and um, you know, it's starting to get progressively a little better there. It's not the instant overnight success we hope for, but it's starting to do better. And she's felt a lot of pressure of being an entrepreneur and having to come up with a concept and, and decorate the store and try to find, bring in things that she thinks people will like and people will buy. And then coupled that, she's been doing everything she can to try to keep the channel going, um, to come up with content. And, you know, it's not easy to find stuff to talk about. You know, she's had, you know, some pretty shitty feedback. She's lost some subscribers. Some people were complaining that because she's no longer uh, doing strictly crochet themed content that uh, they came on here to talk about and to learn about crochet. They don't really care about uh, what we're up to or what she's doing with the shop or whatever. So she's lost a few, which she's taken pretty hard. And, um, you know, and, you know, when she puts out a video, it takes her a long time to... Um, to come up with what she wants to talk about. The editing actually takes a long, long time. I watch her, you know, spend two or three hours sometimes editing a video for something that turns out to be 10 or 20 minutes. It takes her a long time. So, you know, and then she's just had a feeling lately that no one's been listening. You know, she puts the video out and she might get, a, you know, eight or 10 comments. And it's usually from the same people that always comment, which are great. But, uh, you know, I've said to her, I've tried to explain to her that she does not understand the impact that she has out there in the world. The number of people that actually watch her, that care about her, that love her, that care about, you know, us, her family, the dog. You know, she's always astonished when we meet a subscriber at a craft fair and they're so like starstruck and, oh my God, it's Sandy. And she can never seem to wrap her head around the fact that she's really touched a lot of people and that what she does is important and it means stuff to people. So, you know, she's been struggling uh, to, to, you know, to understand. And then she put the video out today because she's just at the end of a rope a bit. She's felt like she's been talking and talking and, and do people even care anymore? Do they really care? Well, you obviously you do care because we've been flooded with comments. She's already crying. Um, some very heartfelt, emotional comments. I'm sure you can see them if you go on there. And she is starting to realize that, you know, what she does is important. You know, this is not a huge uh, money-making venture, this YouTube stuff. I think the most she's ever made is like 200 bucks in a month. So it's not enough to, to save the mortgage or anything like that. But it's a little discouraging Sometimes when you don't sometimes get feedback and wonder if anybody's even paying attention to what you're doing here. So that's a bit of where some of that came from. Um, I told her that I think she should probably take a bit of a break. Um, honestly, I'd like to see if it was up to me. I'd like to see her take the rest of the summer off and start up again in September just to kind of decompress, uh, concentrate on, you know, on the store and getting things going and not put so much pressure on herself to constantly come out with, uh, 
was tough for you guys. You know, the nice thing is there are people out there, some of our subscribers, if we picked up the phone book and read it out ABC, they'd still love us anyway. And that's awesome. Uh, but there are other people that, you know, they want to see how to make things and how to do crochet stuff. And so I realized the channel's kind of morphed a bit. And a lot of it is about um, the shop and what she's doing and what I'm doing. And it's almost become a bit of a lifestyle of George and Sandy channel as, as much as it's been a, a crochet channel. And I've not, I've not been on much. I know there are one or two of you that actually really like it when I come on, shockingly enough. But uh, in my defense, I'm literally working seven days a week to try to keep things rolling here. Uh, if I'm not carpet cleaning, I'm door dashing. And it's literally, if I'm door dashing, it's from 5 a.m. I put the phone on till I get home. And Sandy will tell you like eight or nine at night, a lot of nights, uh, try, just try to keep things going. But we're hanging in there. Um, but, you know, Sandy need, needed some emotional uh, feedback, I guess. And she got a lot of it in the comments. She just needs to know that you're out there, that you're listening, that... Um, what she says actually resonates and that you people care, you know, it's so nice that so many of you said that you love to hear about the shop and see the shop and how things are going because she was thinking that nobody cared about the shop and all they wanted was the crochet stuff. So anyway, I wanted to get on here with her um, because all she's been doing is reading the comments. Okay. We've got some stuff coming up. Sandy, we were in Victoria to see the surgeon. Sandy has to get hernia surgery. She has a very bad hernia. She's had acid reflux, horrendous acid reflux for pretty much the whole time I've known her. And the big source of it is that she has an enormous hernia that has to be fixed. And it's gotten to the point where it's got to be dealt with. So that's going to mean, you know, uh, surgery, probably three or four days in the hospital and, and several weeks of recovery. Like she probably won't be able to get into the shop for a week or two after, depending on how she's feeling. So she's got a lot of stuff coming up. So there may not be a whole lot of video content coming in the next little while. But I think, I hope she's decided to not close the channel down. Because it seems that, you know, we don't want anybody jumping off a bridge or anything. Because it seems to really be important to a lot of you guys. Um, and I don't think she really wanted to. She's just wanting to know that you care, that you're out there, that what she does matters. That, you know, if it's not always crochet all the time, if that's okay, because, you know, it's not easy to look into a camera. We can't see you. We know you're out there, but we can't see you. We don't always know you're there. Um, the comments are really important. That's our feedback. That's when we know that you saw what we did, that you cared about what we did. You liked it. You hated it. If you don't like it, fine. But just say something. Let us know you're listening. I think that's what she really needed. You know, we just went through three years of, COVID isolation, where this has been Sandy's window to the world, and it's been great for her, and it's been a community, and it's, it's helped her keep going. But when we get, you know, somewhat radio silence and not a whole lot of stuff coming back from you guys, uh, you know, Sandy gets some, Sandy wonders, like, are you, are you really out there? So, you know, the beautiful thing about this incredible woman is, um, A, she doesn't realize how beautiful she is, and that's good for me, because... I got her. I mean, Brad Pitt's going to be coming around any day now trying to scoop her, but but she's mine. And the other thing is, I don't think she realizes um, how much of her heart, her soul, her character comes through in these videos. And obviously, you guys have picked up on it because you do truly care. And, uh, you know, the comments have been really nice. Um, you know, a lot of these people, it's helped them get through some pretty rough times just looking at Sandy World and the stupid stuff that we do. You know, you guys have been there with us through, you know, a lot of stuff. Like, we we lost two dogs. And you guys, you know, went, went through all of that with you guys. You know, the stuff with my mom, the stuff with Sandy's sister, who almost passed away. Like, we've, you know, we've been through a lot of things these last five years or so. The channel's been on together. And, uh, you know, and it's always amazing when we're at a craft fair and we meet a subscriber and her to, they know us. The last lady came in, the first thing she did was say, hi, Bailey, and started petting Bailey like she'd known Bailey all her life. And Bailey did what Billy does, rub my tummy, rub my tummy, you know, <laughs> and all of that. So it's it's touching to know that you're out there and that you care. So I'm going gonna, gonna to turn it over to the boss here because I had to drive home because she started bawling so much she couldn't drive. <laughs> so we had to pull over. 
and uh, switch spots. So I said you should get on here and let everybody know that you, you saw what they said. So I am overwhelmed. Um, the comments and the like the the video hadn't even been up for like ten minutes. And I'm driving, and all of a sudden, Billy, the crafty Floridian, phones me. Long distance from Florida on video, video chat. Video phones me and basically says, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> He's like, you can't do this. Like, take a break, but do not let go of your channel. And she basically did this. <laughs> yeah. Gave her the stepmother talk. Yeah. So, um... And then Petra from Petra's Happy Place, she tried to call me, but I think I was on the phone with Billy, so I couldn't talk to her. But she did email me, and uh, her words just made me cry even harder. And then I started getting um, uh, mess Facebook messages from from some of you that, oh my god. <laughs> um, like some of you were telling me that I helped you get through cancer treatments and that I helped you make your first sweater and like just it it just went on and on and she I, has no idea the impact I've said this to her you don't realize the impact you have on people just by being you and doing what you do I had no you know. idea I had no idea I mean I've gotten emails from you guys telling me what you guys are going through and you know um stuff like that but I, the stuff that you guys just said to me absolutely blew me away and i am so honored to be a part of your life and it means so much to me that you feel that way. I, like I say, I had no idea. Um, it's really hard when a content creator doesn't see the comments or doesn't get the comments. I understand that a lot of you watch me on your TV and there's no option to be able to comment. Um, but you guys have no idea how important it is for you guys to not only like and subscribe and all that stuff. They could send but, money. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> but they have, you have no idea how important it is that you contact us in some way, whether it's putting comments down. Even if you just go and say, hi, Lynette Charm Grammy. All she does is she comes on my video and she says, hi, Sandy. I know she's there, right? Um, Otherwise, it's crickets, right? Yeah. If you don't see a lot of comments, you're thinking, did anybody even uh, watch this? Like, yeah. So, I mean, or just email us or... You know, contact us on our Facebook page or Instagram or whatever it may be. Just let us know that you're there. Let us and Bailey know. Hugh. <laughs> let us know that what we do is not in vain, and that you know what we do is worthwhile. Because I didn't know, right? I, I mean. I knew that, like I said, I knew that my the my OGs, I know that they're there, right? But I had no idea how many more were there. I mean, you you can it can say however many subscribers you have, but then there's the other ones that haven't even subscribed that are watching the videos as well, right? That we don't know about. You know, so there's a lot of times that we go on and we put out these videos and we just think, <laughs> for what? You know, like... Well, we've done, we've gone off 
Like, we had one video where all we did was record my Dragon Boat weekend. Yeah. It has nothing to do with crochet. Uh, yet, people seem to like it. You know, we got some yeah. feedback going, oh, that was really neat, or whatever. And we did the one where I went over to Protection Island and cleaned for that crazy <laughs> voodoo lady. Um, you know, and that, and that got a few comments. So, you know, you can't just do 100% crochet stuff all the time because you do run out of things. And sometimes you just don't even know what you should even be talking about. Like, you know, I've done, I think, maybe half a dozen Tales from the Carpet Trail, even though I do the job every day. And that's just because I can't always think of a story that I would, would like to tell you that I think is interesting, although you seem to like the ones that I come up with. Um, but, um, you know, and this is Sandy's channel. I come on every once in a while. Um, people seem to like it best when we're on together because I guess there's some chemistry there or, or something but uh, i get her laughing no, I or i embarrass her and she smacks me you don't really see the the abuse i got this mark on my head from you did she banged my head the other day screaming her. um tell him the uh, truth it was a carpet cleaning injury I, I slipped on my own cleaner and banged my head on the wall before because I, I didn't fall i didn't fall but i bashed my head on the wall so anyway um oh man but anyway. So, I mean, that's, you know, I don't know what else we really have to say. But it's nice to know you're out there. Yeah. She I'm... doesn't always know. And some of it is just Sandy going through crazy shit, you know. Yeah. This has been a very, last couple months has been, been, everything's kind of come to a head. You know, between, you know, my mom, my mom's health, Sandy's health and what she's going through. And, you know, business stuff and money stuff and. You know, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of all... I had a bit of a mental breakdown there a couple of weeks ago where I just kind of completely lost it. And that's not normal for me. I usually keep a pretty level head, but it was just too much, right? And maybe today, earlier, when Sandy was doing her video, that was kind of her sort of moment where it was all just getting to be too much at once. So if the content slows down a bit in the next little while, um, you know, cut her some slack. The truth is... Even before we were doing the channel, Sandy always found it really hard to crochet in the summer. Um, you know, we'd be at Dragon Ball Festivals where we're sitting around for hours. She's got lots of time to crochet, but she just could not get into it. And That's then, what a lot of the subscribers right? And then, then she too. gets into the fall and all of a yeah. sudden the crochet bug hits. So yeah. maybe even the video thing will be something where we might have to slow it down a bit through the summer and we get into what we like to call crochet season. Right. There'll be a little bit, bit more to do. The shop's going to change. Uh, we'll be bringing in hopefully more yarn and more more crochet stuff as we get into the fall. So, you know, the other thing that was quite emotional, which I think you guys can relate to, was Sandy literally cannibalizing her own stash to put in the store. Like, she was crying, taking all the yarn down and putting them in bags to put on the shelves to sell. Uh, I mean, look at this. Sell to this. Now there's nothing left in here. Like a... So, uh, <laughs> apparently I have a three-bedroom house. I never knew. Um <laughs> So, you know, and that was hard for her to do. So, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's, life sucks, right? But, I mean, there was a method to my madness for doing that, right? It's it's going to cost us $1,500 for our first order wholesale. From any, any from of the places. any wholesaler to bring it into the shop. Because they don't want yeah. people pretending to be a wholesaler and say, I'll get 100 bucks worth and it's for personal use. I get yeah. all that. But, it's, but it's it's a big nut all at once at yeah. a bad time to come up with fifteen hundred dollars. So yeah, you know, so, so we, we brought in the yarn we had. We'll try to sell what we have, yeah. and uh, it has the word has spread. We've had people come in specifically looking for yarn, and it's only been yeah. about a week or so. It's been in the store, so it's starting yeah. to happen. So yeah, this is to, this was a test run for us. Like we we wanted to find out like how many crocheters and knitters are out there. I'm finding out that there's more knitters than crocheters right now, but we needed to know. Oh, you keep talking, I have to do something. Oh, okay. <laughs> keep going. We needed to know um, if, like, what people wanted us to bring in, what they're interested in, um, and this was the best way to do it, because if people came by and they saw the yarn and they're a yarny, then, um, then we know that that's what we need to do. Whoops. I don't know what the heck. 
So for those of you that are interested, in case you were wondering what I was doing on the weekend, (laughs) silver medal in the Dragon Ball race is in Nanaimo. (laughs) So I was on a team of literally thrown together people that did not know each other. There were five or six um, Chinese paddlers from a team in Victoria that spoke very little English, but boy, they're chopsticks. You wouldn't have believed it. So they brought their food and chopsticks were flying. Um, so we had them. We had another team from Victoria, but it was literally, hello, my name is so-and-so. And we jumped in the boat and we went out and race had not had a single practice or any time together in the boat and we absolutely <laughs> killed it. So yeah. this was me on the weekend. So I do occasionally have some fun and some recreation. This he is my this. mental health. He needed this. So this is what I do to get my frustrations <laughs> out, to get my, when I'm, I come home after the festival, I'm absolutely exhausted. And I just lie on the, the chair like I'm... Oh. But so you just see that peace and bliss twirling over my head that I get. Yeah. So this is the outlet that I have. And this is the outlet that Sandy has. And when she doesn't sometimes hear anything back, she's just wondering if she's talking to herself. Yeah. Right? So I think that's where some of this was coming from. Sometimes you just have to know that people still care, that they're still out there for you. And I think... That was a big, big part of this. So, uh, mm. if you don't see her lots in the next little bit, it's because you know she's. But she's probably going to chronicle uh, mm. <laughs> when she goes into the hospital and all that oh, sort of yeah. stuff. So, yeah, she'll be sitting in there for three days with nothing to do. She gets some <laughs> I great. I really videos. won't have anybody to talk to. I'll be in there for three days by myself. And it's in Victoria, which is yeah. an hour and a half from where we live. So George so will be at home. I'll be working and then having to maybe drive up in the evening to come and see her. Uh, I doubt he will. Or whatever. He'll just sit in DoorDash and, you know, call Drink. me and see if I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. He'll be eating, like... <laughs> really bad food. Pizza. So, and beer. Yeah. So I'll, be, I'll have... Well, if I'm not in too much pain, um, I'll be watching a lot of videos and maybe crocheting in the hospital room, but... I'll uh, see if I can't do a video on that. But the surgery apparently is probably going to be in the fall. <sighs> so. We live in a place where there's always last minute cancellations. You can be yeah. called with fairly short notice. Yeah. Because uh, we have a lot of older people here. And sometimes, to be honest, they don't make it till their surgery. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's an opening. It's sad, but true. Yeah. Or, or things happen. So. Yeah. So. Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. So a lot of you have suggested that I take a sabbatical um, over the summer because there are are a lot of people that can't watch the videos because they're on holidays um, and that maybe that's why my subscriber, that to me that doesn't make sense that my subscriber rate would go down because of that because you're still subscribed. It's not like you would unsubscribe during the summer and then subscribe again in the winter. Well, there were some people that made a point of saying that I... (laughs) thought this was a crochet channel and oh yeah for sure talking about other non-crochet sure. related stuff or yeah i mean when whatever. i posted this this last video i lost another four subscribers yeah, right off i'm just that. like <laughs> case in point you um, know but you know i i'm gonna take your guys's advice um i'm i'm probably gonna take the rest of the summer off and then come back in at the end of the summer, probably September. September. Well, we have to go to a Dragon Boat Festival. You'll get some wonderful video of us going to Penticton. Yeah. So maybe that's when I'll pick it up again. And you'll watch that's me with my ax, my real team. Yeah. <laughs> Hydro Force. Yeah. Ten of the biggest, strongest guys you've ever seen and ten of the nastiest <laughs> women on the planet going to yeah. Penticton to scare the crap out of everybody. <laughs> We're going to hit that town like a bunch of rampaging Viking marauders. You're not going to know what hits them. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. So, yeah. So that's in September. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll just um, take that time to recoup and to <sighs> figure out my crap. And then I'll come back and we'll start again. So hopefully you'll all come back with us. Yeah. Let's hope. If um, you don't, we know who you are. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. I, that just, that hit me hard, like hard. Um, but I needed that. I really needed to hear all of that. Um, so 
I, even though I'm not going to be on video, you are more than welcome to contact me on Facebook Messenger. I am under Sandy Clark on mess on Facebook, not Sandy Hinchliff, um, because it wouldn't let me change it for some reason. But um, Facebook science, yeah. And so either that or the if you're not part of the Facebook group, Crochet A Canada, go over there and um, you know push the button, <laughs> become a part of my group. Uh, I'm thinking about possibly, I don't know, I'm kicking around the idea of doing a members only, um, video, like, uh, lives. Mm -hmm. Um, so it would be, a like a membership on my channel where you can come in, um, and I would do like once a week, like on a Monday or something, doing a live with you guys. That's like an OnlyFans site? Yeah. No, <laughs> only fans is totally different. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm kicking that idea around. Uh, my big issue with that is a commitment and B trying to figure out how to use StreamYard. Um, <laughs> so that is something I'm thinking about, but I'll let you know in the community tab and in my Facebook group, if that does happen. Um, but yeah, email me if you want to, if you just want to contact me and say, hello, you know, you're more than welcome to, um, I would love that. I would, I, would, I, I just don't, I don't want to lose you guys. I really don't. You guys mean the world to me, you know, as much as you say, I've been there for you, you guys have really been there for us. You know, in in some of the hardest times that we've Because I don't had. have any friends in real life. <laughs> True story. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we love you. Uh, and I guess we will sign off and uh, talk to you guys soon. I guess, right? <laughs> I guess. It's up to you. It's your channel. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in September. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Crochet eight. Out. Crochet B. <laughs> Out. <laughs>